morning god the bang what is going on here i need to y'all we got we got to figure out how to do this because this right here is not it it's another work day work 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 Ooh. let's say three things we are grateful for this morning grateful for that i slept I'm grateful for my arms and my legs. I'm grateful to have a job, okay? It's like, do you guys ever go to sleep just looking forward to like your morning iced coffee or like your iced matcha? Like that's how I feel these days, oh my God. Hey, Lee, you did your thing with this road cleanser. Honestly, all her road products are so good. Like I have not had any issues. Also, I prefer washing my face with cold water in the morning because it just like, makes me feel more awake. The other day, I literally freaked out at work because my skin was like really dry right here. I was like, ew, why does it look kind of flaky? Do you have any recommendations here in Japan for like any good like daily moisturizers or even like a daily mist? Leave a comment down below because girl was looking a little crusty yesterday. <laughs> This new Beauty of Chosan rice milk, so bomb. So, hey, welcome to my office. What's tea? Wait, this might be a cute thumbnail shot. Again, don't know what the heck I'm doing. Okay, let's get to work. Guys, the Japan weight loss is real because I've only been here two weeks. And look at this. It's crazy. It's giving Ozempic. I need this to be also like everywhere else. Like, come on, body. What's the point of getting bangs if I like don't know how to style them? I had a really good meeting with my manager yesterday regarding just like not really liking my apartment and wanting to move into a bigger space. I also don't know if I told you guys this, but I'm in Nagoya, which is about an hour out of Tokyo. And I told them that I kind of want to be back in Tokyo. It was just so nice because my manager was like, okay, what are you looking for in terms of like how? housing oh my god am i in japan right now and they care about like my well-being <laughs> and like my mental health like it's crazy they did say that like i have to at least live here for at least a year because you know like apartments usually have to live in a place for a year my boss is so sweet yesterday i was feeling like a weird like itchiness in my throat and i was kind of not feeling very well so i had to go home early and he was so nice he wrote down how to ask for cough drops at the komini which is Nodo ame arimasuka, and he wrote it in Japanese and English. And I'm just gonna like keep this forever because this was like so sweet. <laughs> it's lunch time. Look at this little. Japanese dessert my Japanese colleague gave me. She said it's made with like fresh onko, which is like the red bean. Cheers. Oh my god. Just literally like melted into my mouth. <gasps> oh my god. Hi, the Juchi. Good morning. Oh my god. It's supposed to be like the high 80s today we're gonna go to a jazz cafe i saw this really cute place where you can like have coffee and they have food and they just like play jazz music there i thought that was really cute i think there is a bookstore i want to go to get it sexy get it sexy boy you know this super fit let me shut up okay let's get ready <laughs> thinking baby blue sheets or pink sheets or mint green or should I do white I don't know like off-white maybe I think baby blue would be kind of cute I want something that's like very summery ignore all this this shit is like messy I was gonna get like a little tower bookshelf but I don't really need that anymore since I already have all this space yeah I want to like decorate this really cutely but it's gonna take time we gotta I need to remind myself not to rush you know what I mean Totally forgot I had this in my freezer. Quick ice cream break. These are like watermelon ice cream, but like the watermelon seeds are chocolate chips and it's so good. I don't know what it is in Japanese, so if you know, please comment down below like how to say it.
umbrellas already this is my third one like at this point I feel like I should just always carry an umbrella cuz what the fuck like it was hot and sunny today when I left y'all saw me I was eating ice cream and now it's rainy and it's a little chilly actually surprisingly it's so weird oh my god I look crazy look at this oh my god so much for straightening my bangs for some reason they're always like curving this way bitch I don't know should I get up I might just get a fucking perm because what the fuck is this? Is it a vibe? It's not a vibe. I'm about to put it back. Sorry. That's better. Look at my earrings. So cute. The foreign language section, like all of the English books, selection is huge. Oh, look at the cover for the I went to see my father. I've been meaning to read this one. I'm in like in a summer mood. Ali Smith? Wait, the spring one? Wait, there's a winter one? Wait, why are these covers so pretty and why am I just now finding out about this? People are always like, don't judge a book by its cover, but like honestly, I feel like I will not buy a book if it's ugly. Oh my god, especially covers like this. Like, like movie covers. Couldn't be me. Great Japanese stories. English on one side and then Japanese on the other. That's really cool. Providing cultural insight and literary inspiration for language learners. Cover is really pretty. Really good selection of penguin books too. This cover is pretty, but I just read the description and it sounds really crazy. Jean is abandoned on the filthy streets of 18th century Paris as a baby, but grows up to discover he has an extraordinary gift. Basically, he like creates perfumes in France Yet there is one odor he cannot capture, the scent of an innocent young virgin. What the fuck? In order to per perfect his experiments, he must have this final ingredient at any cost. This sounds crazy. Like, this cover is pretty, but like, what the fuck? That sounds... I'm gonna put this back. <laughs> it's called The Story of a Murderer. Yeah, no. Good morning. It's the next day. <laughs> Yesterday was crazy. Like once it started raining and then not raining and then raining. I was like, you know what? I think I'm done filming for the day. Like it's just so exhausting going out in the rain. But I quickly wanted to come on here and talk to you guys because I asked if you guys wanted to do a picnic either in July or August. And I asked which park is like the best place to do a picnic. And most of you guys said Yoyogi Park. I'm gonna just do Yoyogi Park. Like that's what everyone mainly said. But yeah, I was thinking it'd be like a good way for all of us to just like get together and hang out. If you wanna bring a book, you can bring a book. But I don't know, I just felt like I've never done like a picnic out here. I've done one in LA. If you're interested or if you're in Japan, leave a comment down below. I haven't decided the dates yet, but I do know it's gonna be on a Sunday. My skin is like crazy right now. I did do a little bit of damage yesterday. I went to Maruzen and it was seven floors. The seventh floor had like all majority, like half of the floor was like foreign books. I bought these two penguin books. Look at the covers, they're so pretty. This title grasps my attention, The Ballad of the Sad Cafe, and it's kind of spicy. Miss Amelia Evans, tall, strong, and nobody's fool, runs a small town store, except for a disastrous marriage that lasted just 10 days. She has always lived alone. Cousin Lyman, a strutting hunchback who steals Miss Amelia's heart, together they transform the store into a lively, popular cafe where the locals come to drink and gossip. When her rejected and dangerous ex-husband returns, the result is a bizarre love triangle that brings with it violence, hatred, and betrayal. Does that not sound spicy to you? Like a love triangle? I live for a love triangle. Great Japanese story, 10 parallel texts. I just love 
like how it's in English and Japanese. They're short stories. These two masks. This one is my favorite. Like I think I've purchased this maybe like three times already. This is so good. Like it literally sucks up all the dryness and you were like literally glowing i like stuck these in the fridge overnight this one sounded interesting this is the turter turter mask fit makeup cool fixer so it's a long lasting like makeup mist thing and it's cooling formula i also really want to get a plant somewhere on this little bookshelf because it just looks so ugly right now anyway i'm gonna finish getting ready so let me concentrate and listen to my podcast <music> got done at the cafe and mm, I give it like a 7 out of 10 the caramel latte was bomb the bagel was like okay but like you know I like my bagels toasted come on now like I need it to be like caramelly and brown at the edges um, it was cute it was like a clothing store and I've heard of them before but I didn't know they had a cafe I was like the only one but honestly like it's kind of dark in there so like I don't like reading in dark places or like really like moody places if that makes sense i mean it depends on the vibes i don't know it kind of gave like warehouse vibes but now i'm on my way to the korean market because i just need to get some ingredients and stuff uh oh other minis wait this sewing machine is so cute look at the camera oh my god okay should i get it i'm gonna try it sweet i hope i okay i'm gonna just shut up ah. wait oh my god it is so cute mom if you're seeing this i'm sorry that i'm spending all my money on gotchas oh the tan hello kitty that's so cute but self-control i'm only getting one today headed to work it's hot as fuck it's not even like 11 a.m yet it's so hot already <sighs> so you know i had to put the bangs back because i don't know how these bang girlies be doing it like i need to find out like tips and tricks i love the train announcements oh. anyway there's a cafe right behind me i usually come here just before work i have like a really good yogurt bowl here and the coffee is bomb as fuck like i had the espresso tonic and the ice mocha and it was so good but I got here a little bit early, like an hour early, so I like to just decompress before work. So pretty. What a day. Oh my god. Girl, I need to take a shower. So we got steamed cabbage, some rice, we have tuna, zucchini, I think, some kimchi, and samjang. Today I FaceTimed my parents, and my, the first thing my dad said is, So are you dating anyone yet? Like, what happened to hello? How are you? 
How's life? No, I'm kidding. I'm joking. I don't know what it is. I some part of me like starts to feel guilty when like when I see like my friends dating or like they're getting engaged or they're like starting a life with somebody or like doing things with somebody. And I'm kind of like, I don't know if I'm there yet. Like I want to be there, but I also like my alone time. I think that's what I need. I need somebody who also can respect like my solo moments and like wanting to be by myself, you know? Anyway, cheers. Mmm. Wait, this is good as fuck. This cabbage literally only took probably like five minutes to steam. Mmm. Just wash these. I saw this TikTok where this guy was like, the reason why you're having trouble dating or something is because you make it so difficult to tell people where you are. Some girl in the comments was like, I go to work, I go to bed. <laughs> literally me i'm gonna start socializing more obviously i'm not gonna force myself like if the if the vibe is not it i'm definitely gonna be like one of my colleagues actually met girlfriend on a dating app out here oh bumble i was like they got bumble in japan good morning i totally forgot to share this with you guys but this cinnamon roll what brand is this Lavy. oh my god it's like goat milk protein body soap or something this smells so fucking good it literally smells like like a creamy candy with like vanilla like it just smells so good but it's like not overwhelming it still has like kind of like that clean scent so good screenshot if you need to so i don't know why japanese banks make it so complicated to change your account details i'm currently like waiting for a phone call because when you move to Japan, you'll get something called your residence card. And on your residence card, once you go to City Hall, you'll get your address printed on your residence card. I have my same bank account from like last year and I didn't close it because I knew I was coming back. Instead of like just logging in and changing my new address, they like don't let you do that. Like you have to do this whole process where like you have to call somebody and I'm just like, I'm just trying to change my address so that it matches the address on my residence card apparently they like tried calling me but i didn't get the call and i'm just like god lord like why is this so complicated another thing is is that you can't get money out until like it's like fully approved that your residence card is updated with the address change i'm just like i just need a sugar daddy because this is too much it's another work day and it's actually hot as fuck today like the sun is out and everything well another crazy product i got mouthwash they have different flavors but it's a mouthwash where like when you use it and you rinse it out it's brown and you could see like specks of like all the bacteria that was in your mouth it's like i don't know if you guys can see but like it's like a brown mouthwash it's like a brown mouthwash and like my friend was like one of my colleagues was like oh yeah just make sure you don't do it around people because it's like really nasty and last night too i feel like ugh, i feel like such trash because like i didn't even like cook dinner and i just like ate convenience store food but then like you know how sometimes you're just like too tired to eat but you just don't feel like eating because you'd rather just like get proper sleep <laughs> that's exactly how i am today's perfume choice is tambourines my favorite this is the thaw sunset this smells like i don't know it just smells like heaven <laughs> it's definitely like more on the like musk woody side i actually get a lot of compliments when i wear this i've only worn this like twice though i've been saving this from the summer because hence sunset like it gives me like summer vibes anyway okay anyway shut up i gotta get to work wait the weather is perfect <laughs> This is amazing. I'm gonna order a mocha pot this week because I need to start making my coffee at home. Like this is getting out of hand. <laughs> I have no room for an espresso machine. If you come to Japan, get the ice latte only from Family Mart or Lawson. 7-Eleven sucks. The ice quality is like not good. This bento, this is probably like the only bento I really like because it has like mackerel in it and some steamed veggies and rice. I haven't really found too many bentos that I like just yet. Like look how good that looks. We got some fish, some veggies, hella rice. I can never finish this. And we have like the pickled radish, I believe. So good. And tamago, yum. I want to lose weight and I know I need to lose weight. And it's one of those things where like... I don't eat bad, it's just like I'm a snacker. That's my problem. I like to snack. 
rather than eat meals like i'll do really well or like i'll cook for like a whole week or like make charcuterie boards Cheers. also it's hot as fuck in this family mart there's like no ac in here Last time I accidentally cooked way too much rice and it got bad, so I'm only gonna do like a cup. I realize I don't really eat that much rice. I thought it was gonna last me, like, I thought I was gonna eat it like every day, but honestly, like, I don't know, something about eating rice every day, I kinda get sick of it. <laughs> so I am pacing myself. Also, I wanted to show you guys my little cinnamon roll green tea. So good. I've been like testing out a bunch of different green teas. I realize I don't like super dark green tea. I like more of like medium roast. Anyway, for dinner, I'm just gonna make some tuna, some rice, and with some perilla leaves. I'm kind of scared though, because this one says hot pepper tuna, and I don't really eat too much spicy food. So, moderation. Dinner is served. Yeah. Mmm. Oh, that's really good. This is an alcohol free beer because I don't really drink and I don't know. I kind of like the taste of beer and like lemon sour. Some tuna, kimchi, some jang. Have you guys been watching i don't know how to get started but like i want to start putting myself out there more and i don't want to rely on clubs like that's the last resort i'm going to rely on so i'm like anybody got a duty make duty have you guys met anyone in the club because i don't know i've heard like mixed stories I'm still trying to figure out which cafe I want to go to. There's like <laughs> so indecisive. Maybe I'll meet me a cutie McDoody today. Just kidding. Maybe I'm not just kidding. I need to like manifest. You know what I mean? Today is my day off. It's still raining a little bit, but this rain actually kind of makes me want to just like sit in a cafe and read. I was gonna upload this video this during this week but work just got really crazy and i kid you not every time i would come home i would be like okay i'm gonna edit and then like i would literally just pass out i apologize for the delay but let's talk about this book real quick it is starting off spicy and that's what i like when i say spicy i mean like rumors are going around in the town people are like suspecting things assuming shit it's a really short read but i'm trying to like take my time <laughs> i have a hard time recalling like what happens in books you know how when you read a book and then people are like oh what happened and you're like you forget the entire plot i'm kind of that way I'm gonna take this book out and read at a, like a cozy little cafe i still haven't decided which cafe i want to go to today also my group trip to korea is in two months and i'm so excited it's gonna be hot as fuck but summertime in korea just hits like i'm so excited to like hang out with you guys and make memories we're gonna take lots of pictures like if you need a good ass picture and you're on my group trip girl i got you okay i will be on my knees i'm gonna be busting it no i'm kidding just kidding but you know what i mean if you need that shot i'm gonna give you that shot okay this guy outside my balcony is playing one direction <laughs> today we're wearing the tambourines camo i only have like half a bottle left which is still a lot because I got this last year, last year in the summer. This is definitely more kind of like on the masculine side a little bit. Oh, so we are wearing a hat today because it's supposed to rain and I'm not going to go through what I went through last week with my bangs in the rain because I do not have straight hair. So my outfit for today, I actually got this skirt from Zara when I was in the States and I think it's a little too long. Maybe? I don't know. I don't know. I can't tell if I like it. It's a little too conservative for me. <laughs> but my pink heart necklace. Yeah, let's go. 